All right, so this is a new direction. I have been inspired by a YouTube series I've been watching lately. Um, I will link it down below because honestly, I really recommend you watch it and the guy is like less than a hundred subscribers and it's fantastic and oh, this is uh, <laughs> getting me distracted. But anyway, this game is a little known Animal Crossing ripoff slash clone called Magician's Quest Mysterious Times, known in the European release as Enchanted Folk in the School of Wizardry. I think my mouse is in the way. Let me just move that. So this is just something it does, you know, when you're on the home screen for a while, it shows you the people in your town. The thing is, I haven't started a town yet, so it's just showing random characters. Anyway, um, it's quite different from Animal Crossing, despite clearly taking a lot of inspiration from it, if you can really call it inspiration. And I've played it, um, I've 100%ed it probably two or three times by now, and it's hard to get bored of. It's such a fun game, but it's very, I would say, punishing if you can't play it on a daily basis. So, I am not gonna lie, I'll probably do a fair amount of time traveling so that I can keep up with things uh, in a proper way. Right now, in the real world, it is 9.40pm, and I think I'm gonna change my game clock over to the day so that when I start my file, it'll be like, you know, not the middle of the night. Okay, and we are back. Look at this, new music, new screen, it's gorgeous. All right, so I will just dive right in, kind of talk as I go, because there's a lot to go over, but just enjoy the music. That's enough music. Now, enroll. Welcome to the room of the beginning and end. I've been watching the movement of the stars, so I knew you were going to drop by. So, you're here to become a wizard, eh? Now, I'm Canadian, so I'm allowed to say that. You can say no, and it just takes you back to the title screen, which is kind of funny. Um, but I think I'll say yes. I think I do want to become a wizard. Let's begin with the enrollment procedure, please. Now, what name will I go with? Hmm, this is actually a tough one. I hadn't thought about it. Um, I tend to go with, like, Star. I use Star as my name in a lot of games, but I think I want to go with something different. Uh, with Eve. I like Eve, and I use that for a lot of stuff, too. It's not my real name. That's alright, you know? It's okay. Um, now, I am using a PlayStation controller to, to do this stuff because, honestly, it's such a pain to use the keyboard for mimicking DS controls, and, um, I don't know, maybe I could hook up my Switch controllers or something, but honestly, this just seemed easier, so. Okay. What month were you born? I'll use my real birthday, which is October. Second. Calm and polite type. That's exactly what I expect from someone born under the sign of the staff. Uh, I'm not sure I would say I'm either of those things. I try to be. I am female. I always love his guesses. No, I don't really look like that, but thank you. I'm not sure if I'll go for a bunch of the achievements. I may start off slow. Um, hmm, actually, now that I think about it, do I want to do the achievements? I'm very pasty, and um, I usually go with these eyes, so I think I'll do that. I'll just stick with like what I kind of look like right now. I wear my hair in a ponytail whenever I don't want to wash it, so. This is me. That's very much what I look like. Oh yeah, let's let's turn her around, take a little look. Yup. 
It's great, I know, I know, I know. Now, you'll probably notice that there's a lot of jagged edges, and uh, that's because the resolution of this game is for the DS, and you can use um, some settings to make it look smoother in the emulator, but my gaming computer is actually a school laptop. As in, a laptop I use for school. So it's, um, doesn't handle those kinds of settings very well. Anyway. Last but not least, which school would you like to go to? And I think this, I know what I'm gonna call. Now, I'm very quick with um, typing even when it's in alphabetical order, so uh, hopefully this won't be too painful whenever we have to type things out. Yeah. Alright, well, it's all settled then. That's where you'll be going from now on. Now, you'll probably notice there's going to be a bit of lag, and again, like I said, this is my school laptop, and this game chugs even when I have nothing else open. And believe me, the only thing I have open right now is my screen recorder, my computer settings, and this game. <laughs> All right. That's it for the questions. Did you make any mistakes? No mistakes. All right, you are now enrolled at the magic school. Proceed through that gateway. Do your best. I can see you have what it takes to become a truly great wizard. That's so nice of you. Um, my character's forehead looks so big, but then again, I have a pretty big forehead in real life. Uh, this man is, uh, very similar looking to the principal of the school, who we will meet shortly, but he is not the same guy. In fact, um, not to spoil too much, but... You notice how this game is called Magician's Quest Mysterious Times? Well, mysterious times bring mysterious creatures, and he, I assure you, will reappear later on in this game's chronology, assuming I play that long. I hope to. I have some water here. I might drink it. Oh, this is Reginald. He's the best. I'm not going to do voices. I'm sorry. I really can't do voices, and I do still have a bit of a cold lingering, so my throat's full of phlegm. And if I tried to do anything, it would be ridiculous. All right, you're here. I've been waiting. You're Eve, who's starting here at Sea Glass Magic School, right? I'm Reginald. I'm in charge of this dorm. Uh, so some backstory for me and my time playing this game is, uh, I started playing this when I was very young, and the thing about the font in this game is, you'll notice, the letters are very squooshed, and the M's look a lot like N's, so I didn't know what a dormitory was when I was younger, and I thought this was the Dorn, D-O-R-N, and I was just like, alright, I guess that's just what this building's called, whatever. But it's not. <laughs> okay. You need to go to the school and introduce yourself there, but first, let me show you your room. Follow me and make it snappy. Sorry, <laughs> just thinking of that completely unfunny Family Guy clip where he falls down the stairs. Because um, I get to see it vocoded to random stuff all the time, and I love that. Where he says, wasn't one of the dwarfs from Snow White named, like, Snappy? <laughs> Sorry, why am I talking when this is so stupid? Okay, as of today, this is your room. Just remember that your room is the one with the green door. Now, not to be, like nitpicky, but to me it's like a teal. It's like a bluish green. But it's more green than the one above us. That one's a blue door for sure. Okay, okay. You can put whatever furniture and stuff in here you like. Whatever makes it comfortable for you. Got it? I guess I do. This is a welcome gift from me. He gives you the worst piece of furniture you can imagine. I'm just kidding. It's actually quite nice. Nice to give you free storage. I'll be waiting at the entrance, so come find me when you're ready to head to the school. He lets you explore the dorm, but there's not much to see. You're not allowed to go into any of the other rooms besides your own, which is fine. Let me just uh, get a handle on things. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I can, I can work with this. 
So, I want to get through the intro section. We'll figure out who's all in our school and whatnot. And uh, from there, it'll be all well and good. So, beige wardrobe, you say? Right. Uh, um, let's just put this right here. My speedrunner ways. Now I can just quickly come in the room, grab stuff out of my closet, and be ready to go. Okay. I'll decorate the room really nicely, I promise. Don't know what theme I'll do, but it usually depends on just whatever I can find. So, um... Yeah. All these doors with the little um, lines through, like the vertical lines on them, are uh, character room. So you can have multiple files in the same school, kind of like in Animal Crossing. You can have up to four, and they each get one of these rooms. It goes this one first, then the red one over here, and then left, and then this lime green one over there, which I think he calls yellow. <laughs> I may make a second character on this game um, for a time skip thing, but, uh, That'll depend. That'll depend how I feel. I may not do that. Also, um, if you look at Reginald, it's hard to deny he kind of looks like a pumpkin, right? But according to the internet, he is not a pumpkin. He is actually a persimmon, which is not a fruit I've had many times in my life, and I cannot remember being particularly fond of, but that's fine. I don't plan on eating Reginald anytime soon. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's head out. Oh, you're here. Don't sound so excited, man. Have you already seen enough of the dorms? Uh, yeah. Alright then, I'll take you to the school, so follow me. Um, I should have uh, made the fast forward button hotkeyed on here on my controller, but I think I'll just let it play out. He walks so painfully slowly. We go! Yay! Now it's a decent time to start this game because it's January, so we can ideally get through a full year of playing. And the first seasonal mystery is about to come up, so I'll spend the next few days kind of just gathering some money, setting up my room, doing some classes, yada yada, and then we'll dive right into the mysteries and whatnot. Well, this is it, Eve. Sea Glass Magic School. Which you'll be attending from now on. It'll be your home away from home. Well, I think the dorm's my home away from home. This is my home away from my home away from home. Principal Soul is waiting inside, so hurry up. Good luck. Thanks, my man. And like I said, Reginald's my boy. Hey, Eve, are you done saying your hellos? Come see me, okay? I'll be dropping by at the bank, and then go back to the dorm. He's a very fatherly figure. He's gruff, but he's caring. That's what matters. He comes in clutch sometimes, but he can be grumpy. Okay, so this is the principal. His name is Sol, and he is a sun during the day, and at night, he's a crescent moon. And he looks very creepy. Eve, I would like to offer you the warmest of welcomes. I'm the principal of the magic school here in Seaglass. So I think that the implication is that both the town you're living in and the school you're at are called the same thing, so like... This is like the school of the town, therefore they share the name, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah. Now then, please say a few words of greeting to our students. Now this is exciting. Um, so unlike in Animal Crossing, you don't get um, a different town layout, but you do get different students and they have a lot of very unique designs. All right, so already I'm not liking our options. So in the front there, we have Becky the pink monkey. Next to her, there's Sylvia, I think her name is. Sylvia, the purple cat. She's like a Cheshire cat. There's two Cheshire cats in this game. There's Sylvia and Chester. And I like Chester a hell of a lot more. And then Phoebe, who is uh, a boar? Like a pig? Piggy? Anywho, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our new student, Eve. But uh, it's nice that we're in an all-girls classroom so far. They all said the same thing. They don't normally do that. 
Here's one hat to show that you were one of our students. Except you're the only one out of any student in the school to have a hat. No one else wears a hat. Like, ever. Which is kind of silly. But whatever. You can get different hats. Different magic hats, I mean. And then you can just wear hats normally as well that you can buy from the uh, clothing store. Which we will take a stop at soon. Now, Eve, please find yourself a seat. Any available one will do. Any available one? Wow, let me survey my options. Thanks. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> now I'll provide a brief explanation of how to take a class. Stop by talking to teacher. Ask blah 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 blah. So, I'll skip through a lot of the technical stuff. Because honestly, it's not important. I will be demonstrating it as I go. So this is Becky. What's up with you? It always takes a long time to start doing your homework, don't you find? That's true, it did take me forever to do that today. It's kinda like when you're lying in bed in the mornings, not wanting to get up. I also did that today. Can you keep a secret? Once you're up, it takes like no time at all to get dressed and leave the house. <laughs> I wish I could finish my homework that fast, but that takes a little longer. Sigh. I actually don't mind Becky. Hang on, I've got to concentrate right now. I love things that are soft. Me too. Lint on sweaters, blankets, towels, just touching them makes me feel better. That's a little creepy. I like touching hair that's been cut short too. Okay, girl. I have an undercut. You are not allowed to do that. But only on people's heads. I don't like touching hairy legs. Yuck. Well, I also have hairy legs. <laughs> okay, let's head out. So, um, there's some students that will hang out in the classroom all the time, so we may come in and out of here. Now, I'm gonna do all of the tutorial lessons in a bit. I think there's seven of them. Uh, they don't take that long, but when you've played the beginning of this game as many times as I have, it gets very tedious. I got in trouble. Oh, Thor! I love Thor. He's a great student. A great uh, classmate. He's great. Great selection. This month's styles. Enter new text. Let's do uh, OMG. Hi. That's enough of that. You can post things on the board and delete them afterwards if you want. Okay. Uh, I don't think anyone's in the teacher's lounge until you finish the tutorial lessons, but I could be completely wrong about that. Oh no, they are. Okay, cool. So I guess normally this would be Mr. Vlad's teaching time. Pleased to meet you, Eve. I am your incantation teacher, Miss Straw. She is a scarecrow, if it's not obvious. And she's probably the only other person in this game who wears a little witch's hat. Let's work together to make you a fine wizard. Thanks. Bye. Greetings, Eve. I am Mr. Oakley, and I will be your teacher for wand magic. As opposed to what kind of other magic in this game? Yeah, Mr. Oakley is actually a uh, an oak tree, if you couldn't tell. I used to think that he was covered in bananas when I was younger. But that was just because of my uh, DS Lite's tiny little screen. And I all, all I saw was like his little yellow strands of hair. Which are oak leaves, not bananas. Anyway. Let's all have fun studying together. Okay. And the one teacher missing is the vampire Mr. Vlad. He teaches you magic linguistics, which... Um, let's just say they're not very important. For the most part. Now... The school is comprised of the main hall, which kind of looks like the Mario 64 castle. You have the bathrooms, you're not allowed to go in the bathroom of the opposite sex, which is kind of rude, but that's alright. Um, and then over here you have the trophy room, there's not much to see up there right now, but I guess I'll demonstrate what it looks like when there's nothing there. So um, this is the trophy room. This book here, you can look in it, and then any mystery you've solved will show you a little image and description of it, which is cool. And then you'll get a little trophy along here. None of the trophies are personalized, they just show like this guy's face, I think. So, it's whatever. And then over here, you have the auditorium, as it's called. And um, a few more things happen up here. There's garage sales whenever mystery time comes around. Um, you get your evaluations done here, which is like getting a report card 
kind of. And then over here is the um, music room, I guess, the organ room. You have your storage closet for clothing here. You can make your own clothes, which I might do at some point. Why not? Yeah, they come with these pre-made ones. This is the normal school uniform, and then you can save them off to the sides here, where these little hangers are, which is all well and good. And then you can actually change the school's uh, chime, which I might do at some point, if I feel like it. Oh, and this is Mr. Graves. Let's say hi. Hi, Mr. Graves. He only comes out during mystery time as well, and he teaches extracurricular lessons, which... Um, Warning, if you do not complete an extracurricular lesson after you've started it, he gets very mad at you. <laughs> and it made me really nervous as a kid, because sometimes I just couldn't complete them. Like, they were just things that I couldn't accomplish, and it was not fair. But anyway, we will not have that issue, because I have the magic of time travel. Oh, the winter morning music is really nice. So, we have these flowers out front, they will not last some mushrooms over here again will not last they are actually a great source of money you can sell stuff to um this lady called malila or malila as i've heard other people call her i think i will call her malila because that's what i've always said <gasps> pamela oh she's my favorite i was really hoping we'd either have her or susie hi i don't think we've met have we you know it i'm pamela so is there anyone special in your life right now? Oh, you're special in my life, Pamela. Big stars always have totally amazing eyes. That's why I practice staring at things, to develop my look. But when my friend saw me doing it, she said I look scary. You know it. Wasn't she just totally rude? She doesn't understand what it takes to be an idol. It's so true. She's literally a playboy bunny. I think that's ridiculous. Like, this is a children's game. <laughs> she's, in a, she's in a little playboy bunny outfit. But it's super cute. I love her. Are you about to take a nap now? I did have one earlier, not gonna lie. When you're in love, you see the blah blah Okay. Yellow roses and red roses and pink roses. So I guess rose color is pretty much whatever you want it to be. This is Bernard. He's okay. Ah, a new face! Yay! I'm Bernard. We'll be the best of friends, like two peas in a pod. Uh, okay. He's kind of cute. He's a little teddy bear, but like, I don't know, something awkward about that. Okay, let's go in the Emporium. There's a few villagers that I'm hoping to have. I'm glad that we have Pamela. She's one of my faves. Thor is pretty good. Um, but you can actually just see everyone who's in your town by opening up the map, but I'm not going to look at all of the people yet. I want to meet them organically, I guess I would say. I don't think we've met Derry. Malila is my favorite character. <laughs> Just like in the whole series, she's so cool. And the music in the Emporium slaps. I have this downloaded. This is the Emporium. We sell the items you'll need for incantations and such like. If you're having trouble with any of your incantations or magic, I'm the one to come to. Maybe I'll have some myriad- Oh my god. Maybe I'll have some materials that can be of use to you. Oh yes, I almost forgot. If you see anything you want to buy, just press the A button while standing in front of it. Malila, you can work for her, which I will ask about real quick. Yeah, she always asks the moon drop first. I think these might be on a schedule. And that, like, they, um... Yeah, they go through, like, a, a default cycle or something. Pine mushroom, forest mushroom, king oyster mushroom. Which we can get a lot of right now, thankfully, and make a ton of early on money. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this? Tin? Iron ore. Like in Minecraft? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I promise I won't say stuff like that often. I swear it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is Harrow's. Um, run by Picard. The light bulb. You see the little symbol up on the top screen there? It looks like uh, the inside of a light bulb. Yeah, that's why. How do you do? My name is Picard. Welcome to my store. Here at Harrow's, we stock a wide selection of furniture and carpets. On the second floor, you will find carpets, CDs, and many other goods. If you see something you like, stand in front of it and press the A button to place an order. You bet. 
Now, I don't have any money right now, but I'm gonna look around to see if there's anything I really wanna buy. I do actually like um, the LED lamp and the sky blue sofa. Oh, and the butterfly broom. It would be kind of nice to do just like a, a pastel blue room to go with my sea glass theme. And this is what? Christmas food? Christmas candle. Mm hmm. Beige bed. Yum. Alright. One sec. to shift my microphone around. So here I am on the top floor. There's a- uh, this is where all the wallpaper and floorings slash carpets are hiding. Hopefully we have something that matches uh, an ideal light blue theme. Wooden floor. Mm. What's this? Arabian walls. Pirate ship walls. Eh. Checkered walls. I'm not sure this is a checkered pattern, actually. Austere walls. Alright, these are not quite what I'm looking for. I don't mind the wooden floor, but I think that I'll hold off on buying any wallpaper for now. But I will get that couch and that LED lamp as soon as I can. That way, we can turn on a light in our room and have somewhere to sit. Let's see if there's maracas. They're the cheapest instrument. And <laughs> it's so fun to play a song and it just be you playing maracas. Instruments are so expensive in this game. And uh, the thing about this game that's different than Animal Crossing is the prices of furniture and stuff are not like fixed. They change in a certain range on a, like whenever they show up. Sao Polo Senorita. I don't know that one. Boogie Fever. Big Top Polka. And volume control. Now, I am not quite as well versed in all of these songs as the wonderful YouTuber I've been watching, Geoff. And no, I did not say that wrong. I'm starting to think I have the controls wired wrong. Give me one second. Much better. Okay, so now we have Limelight, which is the bar. I mean, juice bar. This is Marcy. She is uh, the Kool Aid Man's estranged sibling. My name is Marcy. I run the Limelight. You're always welcome here, little wizard. I also love her. She ser she she serves. She slays. I actually have some fan art I drew of her years ago of her smoking a cigarette because I just imagine her doing that for some reason. Like I imagine her with uh, like the Cruella de Vil cigarette holder. Also this song is so good. I think it's called Fairy Dance. I need to learn it. I love the drums. You can just like talk to her. Say hello. Yeah. Bye. Hello? That's too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. Oh, you bet. You'll be the first to know. You can also talk to her um, while she's walking around. She says oh ho 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 a lot. <laughs> and she's full of juice. Hello? Sit down, she says. Okay. <laughs> Please, this is- yeah! Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and the walls she has here, they're actually selling right now at Harrow's, the austere walls, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so that's Limelight, we'll come here a lot, I'd imagine. Um, this is Daisy's Flowers. Who are you, you little cute bun? Brandy. 
I don't think I've ever had you in my town before. Nice to meet you. You must be Eve, if I'm not mistaken. My name's Brandy. If you have any problems or you need to know something, I'm the one to ask. Sounds good to me. She's so cute. Phoebe didn't answer when I called her last night. When I asked her what happened, she said she was sleeping. Apparently she's trying to live by that proverb, the early bird gets the worm. But she got up so early yesterday morning, she was fast asleep by dinner time. I don't see what good that proverb is, because all she got was sleepy. So true, bestie. I love that dress. Oh, she's so cute. She's a little stuffed bear. We have Bernard and Brandy. Ain't that something. So you have 11 students in your town to start. This is Daisy's Flowers. She is a um, watering can, but she looks more like a teapot. <laughs> We have all sorts of gardening equipment, as well as a vast selection of beautiful flowers. Girl, you have three. If you see something you like, stand in front of it and press the A button. Sure. This is the camp stove and the garden chair. I'll probably buy the camp stove. I like that. So, um, there's one place I didn't go up to yet in the dorm called the Conservatory. I will do that, I promise. Okay, this is the clothing store Vivian's Boutique, run by the one and only Vivian. She is a mannequin, and she creeps me out because she glides across the floor on her little mannequin legs. She's like a, a dress mannequin, like um, one of those things seamstresses use. Hi there, I'm Vivian. Come on in. My shop is closed for, like, any occasion. Formal, casual, and everything in between. That's right, it's your one-stop shop for all your attire needs. If you want to try something on, don't bother to ask. Just go up to it and press the A button. Oh, look at this. Gothic Lolita dress. Oh, I need to- I, I might need to buy that for sure. Wild sunglasses. The old woman mask is so good. Like, I have to show you. I don't have any money, but I just want to put it on. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so expensive. So good. <laughs> like that looks totally awesome on you. I'm like so blown away. <laughs> if you don't buy that like right this minute, you're like so not without it. No, that's okay. I love how embarrassed shopkeepers get if you don't have enough money. It's great. What's this? What's this? What's this? Necktie and blouse. I might buy that and make it the school uniform because it's kind of cute. And this plaid skirt. It's kind of a nice little outfit. I'm kind of, I'm kind of down. Okay, how much is this? I need to know how much money I need to make today. Oh, that's actually quite a bit of money. That's fine. We can do it. I'm quite good at getting a lot of money quickly in this game because I have played it too much. Okay, let's go in here. This is the hairstyle store, or the barber shop. <laughs> and this is Rolly. He's actually Vivian's brother, and um, there's lore. There's lore behind all of these characters, and the more you play, the more you find out, because there are these quote-unquote episodes that happen periodically. And, I mean, I'd like to show those off as best as I can, but I may end up just, like, recounting them from my knowledge of the game instead, if we end up missing any. Which we may have, because it's already the 20th of January, and they happen, like, pretty quickly, pretty constantly. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to Mont Paris Hair Salon. Won't you stop in for a while? And do what, man? I'm Rolly, the owner of this darling little establishment. Just leave all your hairstyling needs to me. I'll make you look fabulous. Oh my, I shouldn't have said that. Of course you already look fabulous. How embarrassing. Now, I made a meme about him because I cannot see his eyes as his eyes. His mustache was always his eyes for me as a kid. Whereas his eyes are like way up by his hair. I thought his mustache, which is like squinty eyes or something. And his mouth, oh my god, like, he's just so much, so much. And for a while, when I was younger, I thought that this was like a receptionist. I didn't realize there's a wig sitting on the counter. Terrifying. Okay. Anyway. There's not a lot going on in here. I think you can sit down? Yeah. 
You'd be surprised how many places you can sit down in here. Uh, I don't know if I can sit down on the hairstyling chair, though. Doesn't look like it. Sad. Okay. Bye. Alright, now that's all the stores. And, um... I think the best course of action would be to get our money from Reginald and then go mushroom hunting for Malila. Malila. So she needs forest mushrooms, pine mushrooms, and uh, king oyster, I think, is what she needs. So, Oh, that's a weed. The weeds in this game come in many uh, forms, so you kind of have to keep an eye out. And I may move some flowers around as well. I'll take this. Because, um... Some interesting facts. Uh, this game has really interesting mechanics as far as flowers go. And maybe I'm evil, but I think I'll be using some spells before we learn them. Just because it's way easier to make money if you're, uh... If you're a cheater. Uh-huh. Okay, I might do a quick run to the forest first and just move some flowers around with me. Alright, so the game's town is always the same every time you make a new file, always the same layout. And it always starts with the same things. And the thing about trees here is they actually die after a month, and uh, berry bushes, they don't last very long either. Today's the 20th, so I'm not going to pick the berries because, um... Oh, there's so much to explain. Your inventory is also pitifully small. Like this is all the space you have. 12, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 15. There's not a lot. Everything, like nothing stacks, so. Screw it. I accidentally hit the Y button instead of the A button. A. Uh, red tulip is useful for a specific spell. Weed. I'm excited to run into other students, though. I really wonder who we have. I've already met a lot of them. <gasps> Pamela. I think she likes tulips, or does she like special flowers? Uh, I think I can give her something. You can give them presents, so you uh, use the X button, you wave at them, and then they'll be like, hey, what's up? Uh, and I think I shall give her a tulip. I don't remember if this is what she likes or not. No, okay, she doesn't. They have specific reactions for their favorites. I'll return the favor soon. Uh, there's a bunch of personality types in this game, kind of like- Oh, <gasps> it's Susie! We get Susie and Pamela. Oh, I love them. Kitty cat and bunny. I don't know you, do I? Well, that won't do. Purr, my name's Susie. I like singing and one day I'm going to be a famous idol. Pleased to meet you. Now, the thing about Susie and Pamela is they have the same personality type, which is the idle personality, and uh, they can be kind of boring. <gasps> Let's hang out. Yeah. I like a lot of the girls in this game a lot more than the guys, so I may end up trying to... You can't really romance people of the same gender. I had a fight with a friend, and now I feel really bad that I refuse to be the first to apologize. <laughs> I know a lot of people like that. I mean, she always buys the same clothes I do. It's so totally annoying. Girl, I'm gonna dress like you every day. If I find that dress, you will not be able to take it off of me. Okay. Or maybe you will. Winky face. Da 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 da. How much room do I have? One. Oh, there we go. Hey, wait for me, she says. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go. There's so many flowers when you first start out. Now, the thing about flowers in this game, which I'm about to explain, is essentially each flower has a specific location that it's meant to, or rather that when you put it there, it has a chance to blossom into like this special variant. And um, roses, it's right here in this little patch outside of um, this cave thingy here called the Fungi Forest. And um, when you put them there, there's a chance it'll turn into a pink rose, and when it turns into a pink rose, you can use a special magic spell on it, and it'll become 
Um, sorry, my brain is buffering. It'll become a red heart flower. Oh, come on. That's not what I meant to pick up at all, and you know it. There's Thor! Hey, buddy. Oh. Come here. Oh, his voice is so high-pitched. I've never seen you before. I guess that makes this our first meeting. Hmm. I am Thor. Well, see you around. He's actually a, like, one of the cool personality types, so he won't talk like that much. He'll usually be a lot more emotive. Oh, here's Charlie. He's a Daruma doll. I was about to call him Darumaka, which is the Pokemon. And you can come here and take your friends on dates. I don't think he'll let me, though, because I'm broke, but I kind of want to check it out and see what happens. Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like you two are getting along well. Well, you here, you might as well have some noodles. Now he will have to realize I'm broke. Hey, you don't have enough rich, which is money in this game. <laughs> he just kicks you out like that. Okay, I'm sorry. So, this is the fungi forest. It fills up with mushrooms really quickly. Um, and if you put May Lilies here, they may turn into orange May Lilies. And then the orange May Lilies turn into yellow candy flowers when you use special magic on them. Yada yada. Um, now, I actually, um, I like to edit the one of the wikis on this game a lot, so I try and keep up to date with knowledge and then update it as I go. So I've made a ton of edits to what is essentially a dead forum. And I will probably continue to do so as I make these videos. Rosso coral mushroom. Not important right now, but this is a king oyster over here and that, my friends, we will need. Okay, I need to grab more May lilies from outside. But first, there is a um, king oyster in here. Uh, it won't let me grab it because he's in the way. Darn it. Whatever. Uh, pine mushroom is also one we need, though. Um, I thought there was another pine mushroom, but it may be outside. Oh, my foot's going numb. I don't have a desk. I live in a very small apartment building. And there's nowhere to sit except the ground or your bed. There's a couch, but um, I find it hard to set up there. Out we go. The tulips are always annoying because you have to put them in the, in the cave. Why would you do that? I don't know. I'm sure that uh, Susie's having just a grand old time hanging out with us right now. <laughs> we are doing the most insanely boring things imaginable. Alright, so this is the graveyard. Oh. Um, can you hear me? And it spooks me. Yeah, uh-huh. Alright. Sorry, I've done, like, the introduction to this game so many times that I just, like, it's like muscle memory. I know all of the little thingies that'll happen. And, uh, so that little character that just talked to us is actually this gravestone here. And it's the gravestone of an evil wizard. And he asks you to help restore him to his, fa to his um, oh, I did not mean to hold it, thanks. He asks you to bring back his bones so that he can become whole again because he was sealed in this grave because he was evil. But he says he's- he promises he's a good guy now. And uh, when you bring him back all of- well, I won't spoil it. Let's do it. We'll do it at some point. It's pretty easy to do. And it can actually be kind of helpful. <laughs> Alright, uh, tulips. Susie. I like her. She's cute. I do want to take her on a better outing than this at some point, but it's nice to have an outing with her at all. I'm gonna place the tulips down here. I don't want to place them too deep in the cave because then it's a pain to get to them if I need to water them. Oh, 
Oh, she has a cute little bow on her tail. It's just so... She's so cute. There's just a lot more cute female characters than boy characters in this game. Which is fine. Um, anything in here I should worry about at the moment? So this is the cave. Um... And this is the little cave pond. You can fish here and get cool stuff. Uh, light shimmers down from above. And crystals and whatnot. And this over here is actually a secret room that you can get into now and then for specific events. But not often. Out of the cave we go. Oh man. I imagine this first episode is going to be the longest. I'm not going to play this game for long periods of time. Every day, I don't think. Eh, I won't make any promises either way. I don't mind there being flowers kind of out and about. But I just don't like them when they're scattered around town. I prefer to keep them all kind of grouped in the forest area. It's easier to keep track of. And if I need any, I can just kind of come over here. I'm not, like, normally a very neurotic person, but when it comes to this game, I like to... <laughs> I have, like, an entire walkthrough I made, so... I... <laughs> you know how it is. Hi. Let's try playing that song we just learned, actually. The nice thing about this game is you can whistle. You can whistle songs. And if you're playing with someone, they will play their instrument with you. Sorry, Susie, I didn't mean that. Oh, Thor also whistles great. Every different character has an instrument, and it's species specific, so all of the birds, for example, will whistle. All of the cats will play cello, essentially, but there's a lot of different species of character. This is not going well. <laughs> but I do love this song. Okay, thanks guys, I appreciate it. What's our inventory looking like right now? Cool. It's looking like money, that's what it's looking like. Mm. I'll worry about- Oh, there's a weed up there I missed actually. One sec, Susie, come here. There you go. Okay. I may do some grinding in this game off screen simply because it can be super tedious. But I'll always be careful not to do anything too interesting. I promise. I do want to know who we have in town, but I, I think it'll be more interesting to just kind of run into them. Let me see if I can count up on my hands who we've, we've met. So there's Thor, obviously, and Bernard. And those are the two male characters I remember. I don't know if we've met any other ones. And then we've met Susie, Pamela, Becky... Uh, Sylvia and Phoebe. So that's seven people total. That means we're missing four, and I'd imagine those four are all guys. Okay. Let's head to the um, to the Emporium so I can sell these and hopefully buy some clothes with whatever money I make. Oh, she's done. Oh, it's so late already! Please excuse me, I have another appointment I must keep. I'll be seeing you around, goodbye. So when you play with them, they'll eventually decide they're bored and uh, go away. The more they like you, the longer they'll play normally, but it depends on a bunch of things, such as if you've played with them already, I think that changes how long they want to hang out. <gasps> oh, it's Brownie. Hey, I don't remember seeing you around before. Well, you should. What's your name? Eve, huh? Well, I'm Brownie. She's one of the three, I think, uh, dessert girls. There's Brownie, Cherry, who's a strawberry shortcake, and Patsy, who is a Mont Blanc. And she is, of course, a brownie. <laughs> huh? I bet you're actually trying to ignore me, right? She's also an idol type, I'm pretty sure. 
Is there something you want to talk to me about? My friend asked me to go with her to pick out a birthday present. When I asked her whether it was for her own birthday, she said it was for her mother because it was the day she brought her into this world. Huh? I was quite surprised to hear that. Shows you may think you know everything about someone, but you never really do. Oh, okay, no, she's not. I think I'll just save up a little money and come back someday to buy something. Me too, babe. Okay. So, life hack. Whenever you sell something to Malila that she wants for um, work, like that moon drop thing, sell them one at a time. This is because for everything, every time you sell her something that she asks for, you actually get an extra hundred rich on top of what she's already paying. So that's 420. Well, the first time you get a thousand, which is really nice. And you get the free material, the moon drop, which I will put into storage, I think, for now. I'll try and keep one of everything on hand, because there's some mysteries that need them. And I'll go into mysteries in a bit. Like I said, there's just so much about this game. <laughs> All right. I made this with the stuff you brought me. This one's on me. Thanks. And here's a thousand rich for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Girl. Imagine someone gives you ten dollars and tells you not to spend it all in one place. Which is insane. Now because I'm using a controller, um, I can't really move my stylus around a lot, which is fine. Yeah. Okay, let's sell some stuff, get some money, etc, etc. Now, um... For those of you who are regular viewers of my channel, which I imagine most of you are, you probably didn't click on this randomly. If you did, hi, but... Uh, I'm kind of stepping away from my other content for a bit. I, I want to do some Let's Plays. I want to just chill out. Uh, less structured. Kind of want to have fun. <laughs> so, uh, this is kind of what I'll be doing for a little bit. And I hope that's okay. It isn't to say I won't do any of my other normal content, but this will be my most frequent upload. Um... Yeah, sorry about that. It's just, uh, I've been doing school, and it's been a crazy semester so far. There's a lot going on, and, uh, stressing me out like crazy, so it's a lot easier for me to do something like this than it is to do an, a script where I edit a bunch of things together. You know how it is. Anyway, did I just run out of there even though I didn't sell everything? Oh no, I did. Huh. I don't remember doing that. Whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Clothes. We have a lot of girls in our town then. Like... Well, no, it's six, right? Yeah, six girls. How much does this cost, Chiquita? Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks. Get out my way. Yes, you were in the way. Ugh, oh, that's expensive. Can I try it on anyway? Thankfully, you, you can mash A in this game to skip through dialogue pretty quickly. Uh, no, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Which is good because it's hella expensive. But I do need another shirt, I think. What's this look like? Oh, that's expensive. Like, I just don't think I have the money for this. Let me try it on. No. Awful, 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 awful. How much money do I have? 1800. Cool. Shoes are always incredibly expensive in this game for no reason. <sighs> but I need this. I need this so bad. I'm gonna put the other skirt back on because this feels like a very awkward combo. 
Okay. And I'll throw the, um, the checkered skirt in storage for now. As well as the moon drop, so that'll take us to our next destination. The bank. Woo! Everyone loves banking. Fact. Everyone loves banking. Sorry, that was a lie. <sighs> Speaking of, I'm waiting for a bank card in the mail. This is George. He runs the bank with that giant safe behind him and this clock that never works right here and it's nice. Uh, safe deposit. Oh, I can't deposit the moon drop. Alright, that's good to know. Whatever. Thank you! No, thank you, Georgie Wargy. And there's only really one more business to check out. Hi, Susie. People who can finish their schoolwork and chores really fast are totally cool. I want to be like that too. Then I might start talking faster as well. That would be totally perfect for when I become a TV announcer. It's a weird ambition, but okay. The post office. Oh, I love this place. The music is so good. I guess he's another Cheshire Cat. His name's Tom. Don't recall seeing you before. New around here, are ya? I'm Tom, and I run this here post office. Give me a holler if you ever want to send a telegram. He's another one of my favorite characters. It'll get to its destination just as soon as I get those male cats off their lazy behinds. I love the kitty cats. They're so cute. Look at them. They're working so hard, actually. And he's so mean to them. But yeah, listen to this. This music is so good. Oh yeah. Anywho. Let's um, head to the dorm, see Reginald, get our money. Throw some stuff. Oh, is this a character over there? Oh, <gasps> it's, uh, what's his name? TV, TV03 or something? TV20C, searching memory, splutter. We've not met before, have we? Either that or my memory banks are malfunctioning. My name is TV20C, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I think he is literally the only character in this game who has a really weird name despite being like like because he's a different species there's a bunch of like other creatures that are insane things like there's literally a phone like a little flip phone guy and he is just named eric this guy though tv20c i don't get it there's a robot and her name's christina like <laughs> it's just him okay that's enough wailing Hello there, Eve. You look delightfully carefree today. I, on the other hand, am as busy as ever. But no matter. I can always find time to time. To oh, I can always find time to chat with a friend. On my next day off, I'll be getting the book I asked for. I bet I'm the only one in this town who can get my hands on books before they go on sale. Would you like to see it? I'll show if you want, but only the first page. Huh? No. I could use some more mustard. Mustard, king. Oyster. Mushrooms. Sorry, I'm kind of going insane, but that's like neither here nor there, so don't worry about it. Hi, Reggie. My scholarship fund. I guess I'm like a real prodigy or something. <laughs> 3,000 rich for you to buy all the supplies you need. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unimportant. Okay, now that we're back in the dorm, I'll explain some things. These rooms lead to your classmates' rooms. This one right here next to you 
is the only one you can go into. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just turned into a wizard. You do that by spinning around. <sighs> Ignore me. I need to spin around the other way to turn back into a human being. Anyway, this will lead to a classmate's room, and sometimes they bug you by screaming or whistling or whatever. This is the study abroad room. Uh, if you are not playing on an emulator, you can actually hang out with friends who are also playing this game. My sister and I used to do that a lot on our DS's back in the old days. And um, you can send your classmates to their town for a week and they stay in this room. Um, this door that we came through, you can go through it to do other stuff like um, Wi-Fi and whatnot. Uh, and you can save here, but you can also just save by hitting select, like this. Do you want to save your progress return to the sales screen? Not right now. Okay, let's go up. And this, I didn't look at earlier, this is the conservatory. And, uh, you bring your friends here and you'll study or have tea or whatever have you, and you can put flowers in here and water them and whatnot, it's nice. I like this place. You get an interesting kind of view out of the side windows of the spires of the dorm. For some reason, there's a sign hanging out front of the dorm that you saw, probably, that says Strange House on it. I don't understand it. Um, I don't know why it says that. Ugh, sorry. I'm seepy. Mm, I guess someone maybe is bullying Reginald, I don't know. Anyway, moon drop here. Done. Out. Now get more money. And I can buy that dress and other stuff. Uh, so, let's see if anyone's here. No, okay. If your classmate's not in, then you can't go to their room. Just like in Animal Crossing, you can't really go in their house if they're not there. And also if they're sleeping. But it doesn't tell you if they're sleeping, it just says that the door's locked, which is really annoying. But hey. All right. Mm, more weeds. Like I said, I'll probably move the flowers eventually. I might do that off screen though, because it's really tedious. Da 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 I have this song downloaded too, actually. A lot of the soundtrack of this game is just classical music, um, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Hi, Thor. He kind of sounds dorky. He looks cute, but sounds dorky, so. Mixed feelings. Um, doesn't look like there's anything around here right now. So instead of having tools in your inventory, your wand actually transforms into tools. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's something that the principal will tell you when we do our tutorial lessons, which I should probably actually go do. Bye. Go, go, go. I guess I could, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I want to make money, you know? Real money. You can get bugs out of trees sometimes. I don't know if there's any in season, actually. I think that there's just fish. Which is fine. Let's get some fish. Oh, yep. So, you'll see ripples in the water. That means there's fish. I thought I just saw a ripple, but... I don't see it no more. Huh. And then you have to reel your rod like this and it'll attract a fish into your lure and then you have to pull and you'll get it back. Eh, whatever. It's fish in the river instead. The river's interesting. Fish only spawn around these, like, rock things, which makes it easy to check, I guess.
Nada. Nada. Oh, there's some. Perfect. Great opportunity. Come here. So you see that ripple is coming towards my lure. And now I have to just yoink it back to shore and it'll pull against you. But that's neither here nor there. Caught a pond smelt. Very big. Sweet. Oh, there's more fish actually. That's kind of nice. I kind of like to bring them as close to shore as I can before reeling them in just because it makes life a little easier. Ooh, carp. A common carp. Quite big. That's good, that's good. Now, this uh, top-down view you only get when you have the fishing rod out. It goes back to your normal Animal Crossing view. Otherwise, with like the world wrap, which is just like a filter, essentially, that you put on when you're programming. Not that I'd know personally, but apparently that's how it works. Oh, wow. Both Phoebe and Sylvia are in here? Girls. Are you feeling a little down or something, Eve? I'm right, aren't I? Tell me about it. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights? I learned about them on TV. I wonder if love looks like the Northern Lights. Why? Sort of glimmering and shining and mysterious. You know what? I sure hope I fall in love soon. I really don't like Sylvia. Hey, Eve. Hey. So what's up? <laughs> this kid once said to me, I'm not going to play with someone who's too dumb to study. I was so angry at the kid I punched him, and you know what? He started bawling. I guess I was a little harsh. I feel bad about it now. Ah, you were right. Violence is the answer. Mm hmm. So, this game is not like Animal Crossing. You cannot directly sell bugs and fish. You have to have them taken into these catalogs that basically eat them. And then you get an item that you can sell. I always interpreted this one as a boy and the other one as a girl, but um, that may not be how it works. <laughs> they may both be boys. Or both girls. Who knows? Or maybe neither. I mean, they are books. I don't know why they have to have a gender. This is the one you'd like to register, correct? Yeah. Take it. He's not impressed. Got two orange May Lilies out of that, though. Those are the special color of the May Lily, which is worth more when you sell it. Cool. Anyway, there's still a few people that were missing, I think. Two, if I am keeping track correctly in my head. I may check the map if I don't run into them soon. And imagine they're probably just in their houses at this moment, which is fine, they're allowed to do that. But I'd really love if they came out and said hi. This is the beach. It's the best place to make money, for the most part, because you can fish here a lot more than you can fish in the river and the pond and all that jazz. You'll see a lot more ripples. Normally. I think that was one. Unless I... Oh, yeah. Unless I hallucinated it. So you wait until you see a little, like... Oh, yeah, and then you want to get close to shore if it's a big one, because they pull hard. See, it pulls. You don't want to break your line, though, so you can't constantly tug back. It's so annoying. A uh, coelacanth. Nice. Tiny. Ugh, oh, cool. Great. That's wonderful. Love it. Oh, another fish over here. This game does have a few uh, little quirks as far as the fishing mechanics go, because the polygons of the shore can actually stop your rod from reeling in, which is really annoying. A sea angel. Medium. Mm. Now, my favorite sea creature, and in fact my favorite animal in general, is actually in season right now. And I mean like favorite animal in terms of like real life creatures, not like in game. Like this thing is my life. It's the chambered nautilus. I love it. It's the best thing in the world. It's such a cool freaking thing. I love its little camera eye holes. It's insane. 
And so if I fish one up, it's going right into my room. Yay. Yep, 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 yep. She's literally handing me it like a loony. Oh, sorry. I live in Canada. <laughs> Can I make that clear? I live in Canada. She's handing me one dollar. And, um, saying, hey, don't spend this all in one place. What do you expect me to do? I do have a lot more money now, which is nice. I can afford that gothic dress, but I don't think I'll be able to afford that and the furniture that I want, so I'm gonna, gonna have to do some more fishing. I think I'll end this episode um, by uh, doing some creature farming, as they say. Get my money up, buy the things I want. And then my next episode, I will do, um, I'll do the tutorial classes. And by next episode, I don't mean like tomorrow, I may do another episode like just after this. Like I'll record it same day but upload it separately, just so that this doesn't get too congested. I want it to be easy to consume, I guess. And this is already getting pretty long, I think it's over an hour. It's easy to play this game for a long time, I didn't really think about it. But hey. Alright. I'll definitely do some more fishing after I buy this. bumping my microphone. This is gonna be a bitch to edit, not gonna lie. Full disclosure, I'm not big on editing. I don't do it a lot. I try to just kind of edit as I go whenever I record, so if I make a mistake I just stop recording, cut it out, and then resume makes life a little easier, and then I just do some volume adjusting and call it a day, but, um... Well, with this it'll be a little difficult. Okay. Oh, I just remembered what she's called, a dress form. A dress form. Okay. Oh! I am so cute, it's not even funny. I might want some different shoes though. Buckle up shoes. I think these might be expensive. Ugh. I tried on me. So I want black shoes to match my dress. No, oh, they're like not even black enough. They're gray. No. I don't think I have enough money for it either. Get. Was I like in the way? Yes. What's this? Spacesuit helmet. Elegant duffel coat. Whatever you say, buddy. I think I just look so cute right now. Oh. Little bow on my bum. It's adorable. How much money do I have anyway? 1480. Cool. That we can deal with. How much? Combien? Oh, that's not that bad. What's the LED light? Ugh. Disgusting. You disgust me, Picard. Smiles for everyone. Making you smile isn't just our job, it's our desire. That's creepy. Whatever. Okay, back to the, back to the ocean. There's two more locations, uh, three more locations I haven't really shown you, besides like characters' houses, but that's neither here nor there. I might save that for another day. For now, let's do some fishing and I'll chat, uh, specifics, specifics? I don't know. 
I'll just chat about this game. So I used to play this uh, a lot when I was younger, so don't tell anyone. Keep this to yourself. I um my dad bought my sister and I DS lights and then just ordered our four chips and preloaded them with a bunch of random emulators. Um so he didn't know it was on them. And uh all well and good. But my sister and I both really liked this game. We played it together a lot. And uh I never quite figured out a lot of the complicated parts. Complicated? Okay, I'll be fair, this game is kinda complicated. It's a bit it's a bit awkward at times. It has its quirks and issues. Definitely not the most polished product in the world, and you'll definitely see that when it comes to the rumors. But, um, I played this a lot more than I played Animal Crossing. I did have Wild World on my DS, but I, um, I never made any progress because I kept, I didn't know how to save the game. Because you have to lie down in bed, and I didn't know that. And so my DS would just die, and I was like, I don't know how to save, and then, you know who would come and yell at me and I'd have a little cry. I would- I like- I remember like being in hysterics and giving my mom my DS and being like, I don't know what to do, he's so mad at me, showing her, um... What's his name? Oh! Another coelacanth, I think. Uh, the- the- the mole guy. Rossetti. Rossetti. I don't know how I forgot his name. Quite big. That's better. But, um... In that way, this game is a little bit more kid-friendly, I guess. Um... Though I have gone back since then, played Wild World, and enjoyed it quite a bit. I just really, really like the character designs in this game. And I like the gameplay mechanics just a little bit more, I guess. I may be a bit of a simpleton that way. Is that just a residual ripple? Mm. But, uh, I think this game has a lot going for it. It's very unique. And, like, absolutely, there's- it- it takes a lot from Animal Crossing, but it's its own thing. And it's worth exploring. It's worth playing and it's so easy to play. You can just download any emulator, download it, download this ROM from, I don't even know, just anywhere online. Just Google it. <laughs> like if you look up Mysterious, oh sorry, Magician's Quest Mysterious Times ROM, you'll find it. And uh, Please just do yourself a favor and play this game. It's so much fun and I'd love I'd love if everyone watching this video played along with me in their own little towns, learning all of the lessons as they go, decorating their rooms and we can all share um, our progress. It'd be fun. It'd be really fun. Maybe I'll start a separate Discord server for this. There is a Discord server I'm in for this game. But I'm afraid of, like, I don't want to recommend it to my subscribers simply because I'd say it's more for people who, I don't know, it's, it's, it's very game focused. I wouldn't, it's not as much like about making friends and having a community, it's kind of about asking for advice about the game. So uh, I'd like to have maybe a separate, like, beginners kind of server, I guess. I think that's what I'm trying to say, is it's not really beginner friendly. I mean, it is, but it's... I wouldn't say it's geared towards people who don't already have a lot of knowledge towards the game. I don't know. That's just... I'm just, like, being mean. I'm, like, gatekeeping the server. <laughs> it's not even my server. I'm just in it. Anyway. You can, you can, like, probably find it just by googling, like, Magician's Quest Discord server, but I might make one. Ooh, Legendary Tiger Globe Button. Tiger Globefish, that's great. I can have five more items.
Sorry, if I'm pausing, it's because I'm looking for ripples in the water. Because it's not the easiest to see. Anyway, the magic of this game is a really big part of it. There's a lot, a lot of spells that you can learn. Oh, the bell's going. It's noon. Oh, the afternoon music started. This is great. Alright, now this is the beach music I'm used to. Anyway. I don't remember what I was saying at all. I'm just reloading the area anytime I leave and come back because that's the only way to get more fish to spawn. So like, whatever. What is there to think about and talk about and... <sighs> Um, this game, uh, oh, I think I was talking about the magic. There's a lot of spells, and usually they're used for, like, mysteries, but they're also great for making money. Um, and there's a lot of great ways you can make regular money, income, and whatnot. Uh, selling mushrooms, and that, that, like, grow in the game every few hours. Is a really great and easy one. Um, besides that, what is there? Ooh, uh, spiny lobster beak. Um, obviously, fishing. Your good old reliable. It's nice. There's no you like tool durability, but there's also no upgrades. And the fishing is, uh, it's a bit of a learning curve. I'd say it's easier than Animal Crossing. It's a little less obnoxious, but it's also got its issues. Like I was talking about, it'll get caught on the polygons of the shore. You have to stand right next to the water or else you can't catch it straight up. <laughs> and um, it can get stuck on obstacles such as like, you see these rocks? Uh, you see these rocks over here? These are like <laughs> a death trap. You will not catch your fish if um, your line gets stuck between its polygons. <laughs> and boy, despite this being a very low polygon game, does it ever provide ample opportunity for getting stuck? Anywho. I like the characters we've met so far. I think we have a really decent town. Bernard and TV20C are kind of whatever. Same with Sylvia. But I'm pretty I'm pretty fond of everyone else thus far. Susie's great. She's so good. I love her big green eyes. That's funny, she says. Dora, what do you think? Lately it's been nothing but clear blue skies. Awesome! Not true where I live. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip through a lot of this dialogue because I've read it all 20 billion times. But again, if you play this game, then you'll be kind of discovering it for the first time. And uh, the different personality types have a lot of fun stories, but they, they do repeat themselves quite a bit, so. You have to turn them in one by one. They're just a bit obnoxious. Um, what else is there to say? So, uh, Principal Soul usually sits up in that chair right there on the top screen. 
Uh, but he's at the school right now, waiting for me to do the tutorial lessons. Um, once you finish the tutorial lessons, the rest of the game kind of opens up for you, which includes mystery time and the general mysteries that you can complete. Mysteries are in a set order, um, starting with the gargoyle mystery, and um, well, what am I thinking about? What am I trying to say? And then I think there's 40 something, and then there's seasonal mysteries, but I won't be able to start mystery time. Uh, God, what am I? I'm trying to keep my thoughts in order, but it's really hard. So, mystery time, what is it? Um, you get given a key once you finish the tutorial lessons and told, hey, if you go to that door in your dorm room, not in your dorm room, in your dorm building, and stick the key in it, it'll uh, launch our town into this mysterious alternate dimension and let in a monster. And we need you to do this all the time, if you, would, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Despite the risks, you're supposed to do this quite frequently. In fact, they act like it's your duty. Like, the principal's like, I am counting on you. I guess it just connects you to the quote-unquote other world. And then once Mystery Time rolls around, the sky's purple, um, and there's a lot of different fish and bugs to catch. And, um... There's a few other things that I mentioned, like there's a, a garage sale in the auditorium where you can trade out furniture from your classmates. There's the extracurricular lessons. Um, what else is there? Well, I guess the biggest thing is, of course, the different bugs and fish, because they are always worth a hell of a lot more money than your standard ones. So, Mystery Time is very, very profitable for that reason. He quite liked that, it seemed. <laughs> Which I understand. dum de dum de dum uh, so oftentimes it's nice to be able to just go into mystery time just to make a ton of money for the rest of, like, whatever time you're going to be playing. Um, and then, uh, mystery time lasts until 5am, so kind of like Animal Crossing 5am is when one day ends and the next one begins. Um, so... Once you've entered Mystery Time, you'll stay in it for the rest of the entire day. However, um, I kind of alluded to it earlier, but there's a, actually a skip that you can do where you can get out of Mystery Time early and launch right into actually solving the mystery where you've brought that mysterious creature into your world and have to help it or whatever. And I might employ that time skip a bit. It's really convenient, especially if you know that you'll be able to play a lot one week, but not a lot uh, later on, because time is of the essence in this game. Um, there's an event coming up called Krampus that I will have to... Um, that I won't be able to enter Mystery Time because of, unfortunately. Alright, so this is a really great haul. Gold ore. Um, I'm gonna put one turquoise, one gold ore one amethyst and one sapphire in the bank, and then the rest of these I'll sell. Just need to hang on to some things for, uh, for the future. And I can sell the rest of these by my lamp, by my couch, have a good old sit down. Hi, Georgie Porgy. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably start making some save states. Now, I would love to be playing this on my DS and be just recording it using my, um, game capture thingy. What's it called? Like, um, I have an Elgato. Um, that I use for game capture that my friend got me. Blessed be. I love her so much. Um, problem being, 
my DS actually doesn't run this game very well. It lags a hell of a lot more, and it freezes, which is actually a big problem. So it's just generally easier for me to play it on the computer. It allows me to make save states and to back up my files in a more reliable manner. So that's how I'm going to run it. What might you be needing today? I would like to sell you some things. The gold ore, there's a nice incantation for that that I kind of want to do, but I think I'll save that for another day. We need the money more than we need the fun incantation right now. Now that is a haul and a half, if I do say so myself. Nice. Thanks. Tempted to change the day over so I can get new uh, new things in the stores, but alas, the time for time traveling will uh, present itself soon enough. I don't need to burn myself out on this game immediately. Yes. Thank you. And couch. And then I'll see if the broom is a decent price. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So how is this gonna work? Oh, I forgot to store this. These are going in my room. That I will put in the bank. Um, there's really no floors or walls that I want, unfortunately. I'll stick with the blue stripey defaults for now. Size. Oh yeah, there may be new music in Limelight now that the hours changed over. No. <laughs> That's fine. Probably for the best that I don't waste any more time just standing around. I have no idea what editing this is going to be like. Oh wait, there was that, uh, that grill I wanted to buy. How much money do I have left? Not a lot. It's so easy to spend all your money. Please, oh please, let it be cheap. Daisy. Oh, thank god. Thanks. Bye. Okay. I will wrap this up very soon. I'm gonna place my furniture down. Um, I'm gonna need these to sell them a little. Oh, it's so nice to see them all around. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up after I um, check what the last two villagers are that I haven't seen. I really want to see them. So I'll look on my map, see who they are, go to their houses, say hi, and we'll call it a day, I think. Ah, oh, oh wait, no, I do only have one as well. Much room do I have? Four? Five? Yeah, okay, good. There's another game that I want to do a playthrough of called A Witch's Tale. Very little known game. If this game is obscure, A Witch's Tale is like three times as obscure. And that's because it's actually not a very good game. But I will talk about that once I actually start playing the game. Speaking of A Witch's Tale, I actually have been thinking about getting A Witch's Tale tattoo. Thinking about it. I plan to, I just don't know when I'll do it. Because I'm like, oh, do I want to do that soon? Do I want to do that? later. At first I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my next tattoo. For sure, I'm gonna get this witch's tail tattoo. But now I'm reconsidering. Tattoos are expensive, you know? Wow. What the... 
This is giving no light to my room. What? That sucks. Normally they light up your room like really nice. Whatever. Oh, I didn't even put this away. Whatever. I will put it on the ground, which you can do. <laughs> there you go. It's my shirt. You can also place your broom, which is kind of nice. It's pretty, isn't it? They're actually really useful. They make you move around faster. Which is great when you're super impatient like me. Okay. I'm just going to place the camp stove. We're going to say hello to our last two classmates, and then I'm going to call it a day. Well, I'm going to call it an episode. I'm going to do a very um, near-immediate follow-up. I just want to save this file, back it up, and then keep playing, you know? And I have to check over this footage to make sure I don't need to adjust anything. Let's put this in like the back corner. It's like where we make the food. And then we put it here. This lovely little table, which you can actually turn by the way. Look at this. But actually you can't if you don't have anything placed on it, it seems. My apologies, I didn't mean to lie. Okay. But yeah, your classmates, when you bring them up here, they'll have tea and they will be like, so judgy. They'll be like, oh, this tea sucks ass because your conservatory is entirely devoid of atmosphere. Everyone knows tea is entirely dependent on the environment in which you drink it. And this environment sucks. Never talk to me again. And then they'll get up from the table and be like, that was great. Let's have tea again sometime. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Okay. Anyway, like I said, let us check. So this is, um, you get kind of all of your info here. The top screen kind of shows you your report card, your student card thingy. See how it says apprentice wizard and there's one tiny little star there? You get evaluated on a weekly basis and those stars go up depending on whether or not you were a good kid. Am I a good kid? Yes. Brownie, okay, she lives there. Phoebe, Brandy, Susie. So the girlies live right here. Sylvia, TV20C, and Thor. So the last two people that we haven't met are actually in the apartment building, which actually makes it easy because I can just go over there and knock on the doors, I guess. That way I don't have to spoil it for myself now. Let's head on over. I do wonder who's my next door neighbor though. Maybe they're at home now? <gasps> Whatever. You can talk to all of the shopkeepers and just chat with people and Reginald, he's so like, he's firm but loving. I love him. Oh, these are nice. The laughing gyms, they're a very valuable mushroom. What's our inventory looking like? Alright, I have two more spots. Hopefully there's... Ugh, darn it. I thought there'd be more mushrooms there. Hi. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Look how styling I am. I look like a fairy from, like, if I'm standing like this. Like, oh, it's so cute. I want this. This is a valuable one to sell. I'm not even sure how much fast this is running now that I think about it. It's considerably. It's not insignificant. Phoebe. I'm still just hoping to run into them. Becky. So Becky, it must be in the apartment. Same with Pamela. And then the last two must be boys. So that's many girls. Like I'm pretty sure that this game tries to keep it an even split. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Drumroll, please. I hope it's like Duke or something. <gasps> oh! Cher Sherry! There's Cherry and then there's Sherry. This is Sherry. She's a depressed personality type. That's so crazy. That mean we have like eight girls? Cough. Oh, I haven't seen you around before. Sigh. 
I'm always getting sick, but I hope we can still get to know each other. You may become my favorite. I love your bedroom. I love your cute bed. I love this lamp so much. Like, you are so cool. You are so cool. Oh my god. Like, I love Pamela and I love Susie. They're very, like, feminine and I'm huge into femmes, but, like, Sherry? She's serving some crazy weird girl vibes and I love weird girl vibes. What? So who's the last person? Maybe I'm missing them? Bernard, Becky, Pamela, Sherry. Maybe not? Okay. Let's count. Uh, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay. I guess I just confused myself. Anywho. Let's save for now. So... That's funny, when I had my screen on, uh, before I even loaded up a school, they were hanging around in the, um, background, so it's like it already generated which students it would have in my town before I even generated a town. So I wonder if the town actually exists, and you just have to name it and then it'll, like, commit it to memory. Like, every time you load up the game, I'm saying, essentially, until you've committed a town to the save file, It'll, like, create a brand new one for you upon loading, instead of upon you actually- Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well. Uh, regardless, what I'm saying is, I guess I kind of got all of my characters spoiled for me on the loading screen without actually realizing it. Sigh, that's fine. Okay. Anywho. Let's, um... Let's call this a day, saving and quitting and whatnot. And I will back up this file do some uh, preliminary checks of my very awesome gameplay footage, and then continue onwards. So if you watch this far, because looking at my recording thingy, it says I've been recording nearly um, uh, an hour 45 minutes, thanks! I really appreciate it, and I really hope you continue watching this, and I really hope that you check out G off description below, because this game deserves a lot more attention. His channel deserves a lot more attention. He's hilarious, genuinely, and he's so much fun. Um, and just like, I wanna kinda transition more into gameplay footage, gameplay videos, because like, I love playing video games. And don't get me wrong, I like my other content too, but this is like, this is way easier, just less stressful to create. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit stressful because I'm not sure what the reception's gonna be like, but I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to call it, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.